Hi, my name is Ian Oswald. I'm going to show you how to configure IPython to use TextPad as the default text editor when using the edit command rather than the default of Notepad. Now, IPython is configured in the ipythonrc.ini file and that lives in C, Documents and Settings, Administrator, that's my current logon, slash underscore IPython. Um, we need to edit this file, so I'm going to edit this inside TextPad. Let's open up TextPad here, um, and if we search for the word editor, the first occurrence uh, is here. This is the section that talks about using the magic edit command. Uh, this is what we need to configure. Now, by default, what we have is editor zero. Um, and these lines don't exist in the default file uh, and this means uh, as it explains up here if this is left at zero IPython uses the default editor now we don't want that we want to use textpad um, when I first tried configuring with textpad I had used uh, the full name including uh, spaces in the uh, path name this doesn't seem to work and uh, some weird errors occur um, so we don't want to use that. Instead what we want to use is this. Here we're using the MS-DOS uh, version of the file name so every uh, path name is eight characters long so that's typically six letters of the, of the directory and then tilde one and then slash then the next six letters tilde one and then slash and then textpad.exe um, so this in MS-DOS terms uh, is exactly equivalent to the line above um, and that works um, with IPython. So uh, here we can uh, save this file um, and then we'll close and switch back into IPython uh, to demonstrate this working. So we'll just uh, edit uh, a file, it'll open up uh, TextPad and ask about making the temporary file uh, and I'll just say print uh, test showing text pad then I'll close that and save changes and then that'll be run from inside IPython. You probably noticed that uh, when I did that editing inside text pad the syntax was being highlighted that's because if I open up uh, Firefox I installed syntax definitions for text pad for Python. Uh, to do that I went to the textpad.com site, went to download, add-ons, syntax definitions, and then entity, and here we have a long list of possible syntax definition files. And if we just search for Python, there's a number of Python editions. I used Python 7, so I downloaded the zip file, and then I followed the instructions that are here at the top of the page. Um, I made the new document class inside TextPad, um, installed the syntax files and restarted and after that whenever you edit a file which ends .py then uh, it uses the Python colouring.